Yo, 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 my people. So back in April, I tweeted that I really wish I could build this cute little cottage in Bloxburg because when you look at it, that looks like something we shouldn't be able to do. But some of you gave me some encouragement, like Sloutful here says, I bet you could and would make it look so great. So I was just like, okay, if you believe in me, then I'll try to believe in me and we'll do this thing. <laughs> so let's do this thing. When it comes to just the shape of the house, it looks very simple, honestly, like just little rectangle I think I'm not sure how big I want to make it I'm a little scared to go too far so we'll start with that rectangle I see that there's it looks like there's something kind of poking out here so I'm just gonna do a little of this even though I can't really see it very well and then just to make it more interesting I will like poke it out back here too and then I think that's gonna be our little shape for this second floor I think what I'm probably gonna do is we'll do a tiny little room like right here is that even placed right I don't know no. You know what? To guide us, this is what we'll do. We're going to grab a roof. This is just to help us to get the measurements right because I feel like I can't really figure out where to put the room I want up there. Oh, that's not in the right spot. <laughs> I'm just going to hike that up. Not that it matters because like I said, we're not keeping these. And then we're going to do one like so. Hopefully this will face the correct direction. Okay, that's definitely the right direction. So now I can at least like get the wall started up here and see where I would want this room to be. So I think it can be like three wide over here I'm gonna try to do another room I think it can also be three wide okay let's do this I'm gonna put the walls back I just took it away but I'm gonna put it back and I'm gonna actually move that back one tile once we delete the roof but I need the roof there so I can know you know where that's gonna go that helps me see okay so I've got that room going I think that's what we're gonna go with for now I think we can always change that as well if we need to and this one like I said we're gonna move it one tile back so it's gonna go back here and then I can get rid of this wall so I know how that's supposed to be now ideally these two would connect somehow I'm kind of scared to try to make them connect already but maybe these can be like twin rooms oh my gosh imagine oh and then they have like a Jack and Jill like bathroom or something between them. Hmm. I'm gonna try to put this here and see if we can make that into like a little Jack and Jill bathroom. I can't promise it though. Oh, I just realized that they actually aren't even the same size, but that's okay. <laughs> Man, I have not thought this through. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna actually make it. Ah, like the, I guess the cap, the roof cap thing. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Ooh. Okay, and it's so cute because it looks like the roof is like sewn. There's like stitches in that roof. Like, I don't know how they did that but i don't know if i can replicate that you know i might be able to with structurals i'm gonna attempt to get this roof done that's like the most scary part for me with this that's like the part that i was like i got i can't do it because of that you know what i mean but i'm just gonna go one thing at a time we need a floor first so we can get some basic shapes up here i'm kind of just gonna floor like all of this empty space up here okay you know what for the rest of this i'm gonna try to get it in one go do you think i can do it gotta go outline all of these spots here and make sure they're not included oh, i think i got it yeah boy okay well that was the easy part <laughs> now for the hard part we gotta get some wedges yeah no i need some wedges up here so we're not doing the flooring oh my gosh yo i gotta get a floor up here on the third floor i guess <laughs> there's that okay so i have it sized like this so far it's like 7.5 this way and 7.8 this way apparently that was just random it's looking good let's see if that actually gives us a full perfect little roof right here <gasps> somehow it's short no okay so we finally got the base of that roof or at least the structure so if you can see i have like two small slivers on both ends and then two thicker ones in the middle on both sides an idea i did have to make this roof look more accurate like the picture was to do a standard round rod but like the big one because it's huge and now it's not looking even huge enough for me but just to give it that like super puffy look if that makes sense like do something kind of like this and these ones can be resized Ooh, i can make it even thicker wait this is so cool hold on okay that size is like perfect it may not end up looking exactly like the picture especially because i'm probably gonna have to have like lots of rods so it's gonna be like a bumpy roof <laughs> but that does the trick kind of <laughs> one eternity later as you can see i've done a little bit more work on this roof yes it's looking quite funky but just trust the process i think we'll get there
there. <laughs> I think next up, I wanted to do that little, little tiny roofing outside. I don't know how that doesn't make sense, but pretty much I need a door, a front door, so I can place that little part correctly. I'm trying to see like what it looks like. It's really hard <laughs> to tell. Yeah, it's mostly just a solid wooden door, but there's like a little decorative part of it. I'm gonna just go with this one. I think we need a little tiny gabled roof. Where I, why am I not seeing the gabled roof? <laughs> it's literally right there. I'm just gonna do like one little tile. I feel like it's so small. <gasps> and thank goodness it is going the right direction. How lucky. Ooh, it can't be as shallow as I need it to be. Oh no. Well, we will try to work with this. I don't promise that it's gonna look nearly as good as the picture there. But then we need some pillars and they look like nice cute ones, kind of like this. And then do you see the little roof piece that goes over like the window on the right at the top? Do you know of a new item I could use for that? Because I was looking at this the other day and I was like, wow, we just got something that would help me make that look so perfect. To actually pull it off though, it's still gonna be a bit of work. So I'm gonna put a pillar like here here and then i'm gonna put another one on the other side hopefully exactly in the same spot and then i'm gonna grab a structural and it's the plain arch like doesn't that look so perfect it might be the low one we're gonna actually have to go much lower than i'm thinking here maybe like here i really should have maybe put the window there and then that would help us with this a lot better i feel like this is the wrong spot but we're gonna go for it <gasps> I think I placed that right, right? Okay, let me see if I can like bring it down a little bit. Oh yes, okay. Do you see how this is like kind of looking right? I just, I'm gonna have to finish it off up here somehow. I don't know how that's gonna work, but. And then we can also get rid of these pillars. I almost forgot. Okay, I honestly don't even know what the last thing I did was fully. I guess I probably put the store in pillars here, but this is the roof, the main part of the roof done. I'm not gonna be able to do like the decorative cap piece. Like my energy is just, I'm done. <laughs> but something I just realized is that I did not put on another little rod up here. So I'm going to just do that real quick. I kind of just finished off each of the ones that were like this, like that. So there we go. Perfect. And then I haven't colored these other two roofs yet. So I'm going to do that. It looks like shingles, normal roof shingles. If I can find them, there they are. And then like, like an orangey color, maybe burlap. No, that is too yellow. Oh my, that is very orange. Okay. <laughs> we're just going to do linen. Make it easy on ourselves. Yes. And then let me go ahead and also like color the house. Like, I don't know why I haven't done that yet. I'm going to do institutional white. If you saw my last video, then you know that <laughs> I always use Lily and I'm trying to see if I can do something different. Okay. The problem is, is I don't know if we're going to get the right look. I might do plaster because if you look at it, it's definitely brick, but it's like painted brick and none of this is going to look quite right. So I'm just going to do plaster, I think. And that just goes like literally on all the walls. <laughs> Sadly, this side is going to look kind of funky, but honestly, at this point i'm kind of just okay with it just looking like the picture from the front angle like this <laughs> but it's not gonna be perfect this is kind of wonky and i regret the way i did it but it's okay oh before i forget we need some chimneys where are they there we go i was like hovering over it and i did not even see i don't think we're gonna get the right chimney exactly but i think we can do it like right here it looks like it's in the right spot right like it's pretty accurate maybe i can make it come up a little higher just a little bit and then we need another one like on the side of the house which I think this one is perfectly okay. Oh, this is looking so cute and cottagey. Oh my gosh. I'm in love, y'all. And again, that needs to go higher. Yay, those are our chimneys. So cute. And then for these windows, even though they're like all open, I'm not gonna make them open. <laughs> I'm feeling like this large standard window. Oh yeah, that's actually kind of really perfect for here. I think the way I'm gonna do it down here is I'm gonna just do more windows than in the picture. So I'll do that. And then if you see, there's like a huge shutter on the side but the way it works in Bloxburg oh wait hold on I have to go out of build mode so I can so this wall all thinks it's one piece and not several different pieces and then we can go back oh this is looking so cute y'all and then I'm just gonna put this window here oh wow that is some major glitchiness and then I'm gonna put shutters on that yes exactly so I'm gonna put these here like this and then I'm gonna do another like double window situation here and then I'm gonna get the normal size standard window and put one like 
like here and then another one on this side. And then we're gonna get those shutters again. And both of those small ones. And let's just get them the right color just so we can see this properly. It's like a really dark color. I'm gonna go with dark taupe all around and keep it wooden. Perfect. Okay, and then we're gonna go inside and shut those and hope that that looks right. Oh, what? you know what? I don't have to go inside. What am I talking about? We can stay out here. Hello? <laughs> Earth to Naomi. And then that kind of gives us that effect. Now this wall is saying it ain't colored properly. I think it's just being glitchy and annoying and it's probably gonna be fine if I like leave and come back. I just wanna put a bit of a floor here just so we have a little place to walk onto. Now we need a bit of picket fence action. It feels like it kind of comes off of the front of the house like this. And then it pretty much just goes all the way up to like where the side is right there. That looks like a bit of a different fence towards the back. Maybe I'll do more like a tall wooden fence here. I think I'll kind of do something like this. Maybe I'll do a driveway. I don't know. I feel like a driveway feels weird for this house, but there's definitely something in that area and I don't know what it is. Oh, that cashmere wood is so perfect for the picket fence. And it is a bit darker on this fence. I might try for linen. Yeah, that looks right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then other than that, there's just like a lot of greenery and stuff. So I might just, you know, continue doing some of this gardening and then I will show you the final tour in a second second see you then okay y'all so i finished the house it's only the exterior as you probably already guessed by now i didn't really do the back side so it's really more just to make it look right from the front and i did a little bit more of my own thing but to get to the point and to show you and keep the suspense away let's look at it here it is Woo, that was kind of all over the place but this is the house uh, i don't know why i said it like that but oh my gosh i love this it is 7 a.m in the server so like the lighting's all pretty but i don't know if it's a little too dark but look at this i didn't put a car here because i'm like i don't know when or if I will use this plot. I want to. I do have like a little gate here and then a little walkway up to the door. And then there's just this little, you know, front yard area. There's like a lot of greenery in the picture, which you probably remember. And then there's the house. I feel like it looks okay. I definitely can't make it like I want to. I probably could if I like tried a little harder, but like I already put so much effort into this. I'm like done. But let me just do a little fly through so you can maybe see just what the rest of it looks like right now. This is like the rest of the house. Um, yeah. If you want me to like finish this up, let me know. Like I could do that in a video, maybe on stream. Tell me what you want and I will try to deliver. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video and watching me actually make this dream come true of mine. <laughs> I love you all so much and I will see you next time. Bye. It's so cozy. It looks so cute.